Good morning, Mordecars. The day, Monday, May 26th. It's Memorial Day, and I hope everybody had a great Memorial Day weekend. The weather was fantastic, and I sure had a great time. Anyway, uh, this day in history, 1959, Pittsburgh Pirates pitcher Harvey Hadricks pitched 12 perfect innings against the Milwaukee Braves before losing 1-0 in the 13th. 1978, the first legal, legal casino to be in the United States outside Nevada was opened in Atlantic City. 1973, Chuck Guile married Georgia Wagner. Birthdays, we have Donna Lester. <laughs> so, tell Donna happy birthday. Upcoming events. Our top stepper uh, was Mike Bruce doing a fantastic job at 152,700 steps. Good job, and everybody pat Mike on the, job, on the back for doing a good job. Who's going to win next week? So the, the competition is getting tough. Uh, June 23rd, we're going to have our Heritage Day, which you have to bring your favorite family dish, and uh, we'll have a contest for that. So hope everybody participates in that. As I told you last week, I was going to talk a little more about the building project that hopefully we're going to start uh, the middle of July. Uh, we had a big piece of the pie solved last Monday when the city uh, council voted to sell us the property behind the building. So now we can keep moving ahead. The only problem is, is we got space on the side of the, on the back of the building, but it's a long, narrow, you know, narrow piece. And uh, it's not going to help us as far as putting in seven stalls. So what we're trying is something different. It's going to be an assembly line. And uh, what are the benefits of the assembly line? Well, the biggest one is the space, because like I said we don't have room to put in uh, six, seven bays like they did at the Toyota store, which we need to make this a successful project. Um, but we are going to have the assembly line, which is, you know we can utilize for the space. The other benefits of the assembly line is that it'll take less parking for customers. Instead of 60 spaces we're going to need for customers' cars, the customers will go down, you know, the car will go down the assembly line, they'll wait in a separate waiting room for it, and then they will get in their car and leave, and so the car will never be parked. So that's a strong plus for us. Also, you, we won't need as many employees to staff the assembly line as we would if we had six to seven bays. We're going to have to have, you know, 14 employees. And so with the assembly line, we can get away with, you know, 10 employees. So there's another savings there. Plus, the customers aren't going to have to have rental cars. And so they're going to come in. They're going to be easier for them to wait for their car. So they're not going to have to get a rental car. So we have to have a bigger rental fleet, which takes up more space. So those are coming, you know, the space is the biggest thing because we can't create more space. The second benefit is, is of it is that we're going to have our highly trained technicians in the main service department. And what we'll do is the, you know, our lube techs will be on the semi line, our A and B techs will be in the, in the main shop. And by doing that, I'm hoping that most of them will have two bays and they'll be able to work on more cars. If, the assembly line we're hoping to do over 100 cars a day on the assembly line and if we do that we'll be attracting more cars in the service department and finding more work that's more desirable for the A and B techs where they can make um, turn more hours and they can do uh, make more money based on uh, the number of cars coming through so I hope it's a win-win for everybody the assembly line we're hoping to do work like PDIs, oil and filter, trans service, rotate and balance tires, brake flushes, coolant services, all scheduled maintenance, wipers, headlights, battery checks, lights and accessories, cabin filters, engine air filters, spark plugs, and uh, much more. We'll have five different stations on the assembly line. One will be the loading and input. The second will be tire and brakes. Third station will be undercarriage. Fourth station will be engine and fluids. And the fifth will be quality check and road test. Now we'll also have uh, ATEC on the assembly line. They'll be looking for work on these cars that are coming through, and hoping that you know, just odds are they're going to find more work than we you know on cars that will need service that done in our main service department. So we, anyway, it's kind of an exciting prospect, and it you know really fits what our unique position is. The idea is the more cars we come into service equals more sales for cars. So if sales sell service, we can get more people in our service department this way. We're going to sell more cars, so everybody's going to benefit. We're also going to do a couple things different. We're going to have a showroom uh, down there. We'll have three-car showroom down in the service area, 
And so when the customer is coming in for the service, uh, hopefully they'll you know, be looking at some of the new product that we'll have there. So like I said, it's going to be an interesting, it's going to be a fun project. Uh, there'll be a lot of things different about this building than um, any other dealership in the country. And uh, that'll make it kind of exciting. All right, hero of the day, Marcus Capps. He got a long letter from a, or a long letter, but he got an uh, online review, and Marcus got a five on it, which is great. He said, my husband and I have bought or lease nine cars from motor cars over the years. We went there a few weeks ago, our, our, to lease our latest Honda CRV. We again worked with Marcus Capps, the best sales and leasing specialist in the business, and one of our favorite people. Marcus isn't just knowledgeable in general. Uh, reasonable and kind, though. These would be remarkable characteristics, characteristics to find uh, in any uh, car salesperson. But he is probably the best salesperson we've ever dealt with in any place in the nation. His wonderful qualities combined with his great intelligence and, and sense of humor make our visits to motor cars events to be looked forward to with pleasure. We know we can count on Marcus to make us feel appreciated and at home. To answer all our questions and try everything to make sure that we get the best car at the best price and to make this experience a delight. How often do you hear that about a car salesperson? To say I recommend him highly is an understatement. You simply won't find anyone better than Marcus. Anyway, I hope everybody else realizes that these type of reviews are read by thousands of customers and if they're looking for a dealership to come, well, I'd buy my car from Marcus. So, you know, great job Marcus there. Anyway, hope everybody has a great day and uh, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. Thanks.